Hello guys, creating a video game with a family and a full-time job, am I crazy? Yes, maybe a little, but who cares if it's the thing I like to do and it makes me happy. An open world in a video game, a type of game design that has been exploited a lot in recent years. I also wanted to propose an open world map for my indie game, but how did I try to be different from other modern open world games? I'm not a lover of immense and uninteresting world, where to cross these places you just have to go straight forward with your brain turned off. I try to make the player active during exploration with studied handmade level design. My main goal will be not allow more than 5 to 10 seconds to pass from one action to the next, in order to keep the player always immersed in the world I created. Before setting off at 300 km per hour to produce assets for the game, I made a concept map made with cubes and rectangles. In order to calculate the distances and the heights down to the millimeter, I created the entire map in this way, to realize the extension of the world the challenge relating to level design, and the satisfaction in exploring the various areas present in the map. So, the key is time. I always find time for my project, even just a few minutes a day. The second key is consistency. I will continue to develop my game for one, two, three years, and with consistency I will get to the end. So, basically, motivation. It's not always easy to find it, but I have a dream. I want to create my video game and I'll do everything to achieve it. So, it's all for this episode. See you in the next one.